It's March 26th. Five years after entering their promised homeland, the Israelites had conquered most of its territory, 31 cities in all. A few regions remained to be captured, but the time had come to divide the land. As it's being apportioned to the tribes, Joshua is approached by Caleb, the only other Israelite that had survived the 40-year wilderness journey. Caleb and Joshua had been alone among the 12 spies that had surveyed the land 45 years earlier. And Caleb's favorable report and encouragement to his fellow Israelites to trust God in order to take the land found favor with God and secured him a home in the new land. The territory he had spied out 45 years earlier had some of the most desirable land in Israel, but it was occupied by the descendants of Anak. And these were literally giants, referred to in Numbers chapter 13, verse 33, as the sons of Nephilim. Caleb, in chapter 14, verse 12, asked specifically for this land for his possession. Now therefore give me this hill country, of which Yahweh spoke in that day. You have heard in that day how the Anakim were there in great and fortified cities. It may be that Yahweh will be with me, and I shall drive them out, as Yahweh said. In choosing this land, Caleb knew he would have to fight the giants, the very ones his peers had been afraid of 45 years earlier. And these giants were living in walled cities, which were the most difficult fortifications to penetrate. You have to love this guy. Caleb could have had an allotment of land that would have been much easier to obtain, but he believed it was his destiny to have that land, and he had the courage to pursue it. His courage wasn't due to his own inflated view of self, and it wasn't driven by ego. He was courageous because he knew that his God was more than capable of delivering the giants into his hands. And that's exactly what happened. He conquered the Anakites, took possession of the land, and its title became the perpetual property of his family. Caleb's attitude and his faith are rare, but they are precisely what please God. The very purposes of God in this current generation are waiting on men and women who have the courage, the faith, the boldness, and the tenacity of Caleb. Here's today's application. There are things that God wants you to do to believe Him for and to obtain that will require faith, courage, boldness, and tenacity. What might those be? Well, what are you believing God for? Take some time today to ask God what He has for you. Your destiny awaits. Take courage and pursue it. Now here's today's prayer.